and was shot and killed by former Kansas City Police Detective Eric DeVolcanier. DeVolcanier was sentenced to six years in prison. Today, Lamb's family held a balloon release on the anniversary of his death. KSHB 41 reporter Leslie Delisport passed the mic to his mother and two sons to hear about what the last four years have been like and how they're moving forward as a family. It's been painful. Why painful? Because I grew up with no dad. Cameron Lamb's young sons say it's been hard growing up without their dad, but it's the memories they have that keep them going. He was funny. He was a gentleman. He was a ladies man. He liked he liked to work in those cars and he loved, loved wearing overalls. Like, like he wore that like every day in summer. Things have not been the same, but I know that, you know, we just keep living. It's these kind of memories that also help his mother, Lori, who says the last four years have taken a toll on her. He was so into his children. He was into his family and he was into um, the community. Going back four years ago and to be hit with such devastation, that's just like your heart has been ripped to pieces. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three. three. Two, one. Releasing nine balloons Sunday to represent the nine seconds it took for her son to lose his life. Lori says it's a reality that isn't easy to stand in. I would rather know what it feels like to be celebrating something great. Like, oh, how does this feel to know that your son got accepted into this or that? But I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's hard. <laughs> But moving forward, Lori says she and her family will do whatever it takes to keep Cameron's story alive. It is so important that we always do everything that we can to uplift his name, to have commemoration days for him. In Kansas City, Leslie Delisborg, KSHB 41 News. The Missouri Attorney General and attorneys for Eric DeVolcanier filed an application to transfer his case to the Missouri Supreme Court. About two weeks ago, an appeals court overruled a rehearing motion and a request for the case transfer. DeVolcanier's team filed that motion within the 14-day window to appeal. DeVolcanier's attorneys also have informally sought a pardon from Governor Mike Parson.